Speaker, my question is to the Premier. Premier, in the 2015 budget, you announced that there would be a $50 million reduction in the funding to Ontario's medical laboratory companies. We have learned that Alpha Laboratories, whose CEO is former Liberal Cabinet Minister and leadership candidate Jared Kennedy, has actually been exempted from this cut what? and will continue to receive no. the previous funding. Oh, Mr. Oh, Speaker, wow. my question is short and direct. Wow. Can the Premier confirm that Alpha Laboratories has, in fact, been exempted from this $50 million oh, cut? Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question. Uh, we. Uh, we have a proud tradition in this province of working closely with our community laboratories, including smaller laboratories like Alpha Laboratories, uh, but also Life Labs and Dynacare, and uh, extraordinary ability to provide the services at the quality that Ontarians expect. However, Mr. Speaker, we've been working closely with those labs to see how we can find further efficiencies. We've actually uh, asked for a, a panel to be set up, which they have, and they've just recently concluded their report, to look at how in the short and medium and long term we can provide those efficiencies, we can ensure that the quality is the highest, that we can support our community laboratories to do even better work that they do. So I'm uh, currently reviewing that report. I have met with all stakeholders uh, quite frequently over the course of the past yes, year. I will continue to do so as we develop a program that Ontarians can be proud of. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Speaker. Back to the Premier. Premier, you've rewarded the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Health for supporting you at your leadership convention by giving them plum cabinet positions. Mr. Kennedy also supported you at the convention, although you couldn't give him a cabinet post because he no longer sits as a member in this House. Mr. Speaker, I will ask once again to this Premier, Order. will she confirm that the preferential treatment given to Jared Kennedy's Alpha Labs is in fact his reward for supporting her at the Liberal Leadership Convention? Excuse me. Very borderline, and I'm going to let it pass. But I would warn all members that you're not making those kinds of accusations directly or indirectly to any member in the house. And while I have the clock stopped, I'm going to remind all members that you address each other by either your title or your writing, and by doing so, it helps the uh, tone of the place. Minister of Health. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, so, as I mentioned. Uh, we have a uh, laboratory services expert panel uh, that was created, uh, created in uh, coordination and in concert with our community labs. Uh, has been looking and experts in the field and outside of the field that can provide us with the uh, information and the recommendations that we need to strengthen our community labs that provide such a vital service to Ontarians. There are no special exceptions to how we view any of the laboratories. Uh, we are looking at this purely from one vantage point, working and acting in the best interest of Ontarians, how we can find efficiencies so we can provide even more service to Ontarians, how we can ensure that laboratories uh, exist throughout the province, providing a high quality of service. Uh, we will approach this in a way which uh, is based on the good advice of the experts.